what's up youtube it's your boy life of coach d back again with another update on the rc4 gs v2 transmitter so what we're doing today is as you can see most of my transmitters i don't use six uh AA batteries so as you can see right there that's a jst plug which is held on to the battery tray right so what i'm gonna do so we're gonna pop that JST plug right out of there. And lo and behold, if you wanna grab your pack off of Amazon, this is what I get. It gives you the male and the female ends. My batteries have the females. So, so what we're gonna do is take two JST plugs, right? Both with this end, right? I'm gonna cut, cut it down and I'm gonna solder them together so that way I have both ends the same on each one. And then see if y'all can, so it gives you your negative and your positive, plug it into there and then we'll have it on running on LiPo. And then after I do that, I'm gonna put the receiver. I told y'all I'm gonna put it in my limitless. So we're gonna pop that off and then we'll install the receiver. And then we'll show you the binding process, which is pretty simple. Um, you just have to have the remote and the receiver close by each other and then it binds up together no need to uh, push any buttons um, and you can also see the binding process on my brother Gat Reviews A to Z channel as well um, he has the RC6 GS uh, radio so head over to his channel and check that out if you haven't already so let's go ahead and do this modification so this can run off of a lipo battery instead of AA batteries and then I'll be right back with you fellas all right fellas and I'm back so as you can see I made my jumper JST to JST so that it can run off of a thousand milliamp uh, 2S LiPo. So, about to install it. And then we'll show you guys when it powers on. Be right back. Welcome back everyone. So here you go. LiPo is installed. Power button. As you can see, 8.3 volts. All right, so easy lipo conversion if you don't want to continue to buy double a batteries um by far i think this one is easier than the spectrum because with the spectrum one of course i mean it doesn't have the jst plug plugged into the actual transmitter itself you have to just cut the wire from the bottom um, and then solder on the ends i mean i kind of like this one better but again 8.3 volts on the two cell lipo I like the lipos better because honestly i haven't charged this lipo battery in months and it's still holding so and it gives you a longer longer run time with your transmitters you ain't constantly trying to rush and look for a double a battery so if you want to do an easy lipo conversion by all means as you saw unplug the bottom or pull the tray out the bottom of the remote unplug the jst connector solder two jst male sides together put a female in on your battery boom there you go. So now let's go ahead and get the receiver inside the box so we can pair this up. All right, fellas, so here we are. As you can see, I got the SRS6000 in here now running off of my DX5C. So we're about to switch that out for the uh, radio link. And on the radio link, let y'all see this model number real quick. R6FG, this RCFG, if you look on Amazon, this receiver is $17. $17 for this receiver. So more than likely, I'm about to stock up on, on these so that I have them um, as I add more vehicles in 2021. Um, and then I know some uh, my boy Jay Grant asked um, as far as models and how many it can hold this remote. You can store 10 vehicles on this remote which is not bad, not bad for entry level uh, remote, uh, 10 models, more than enough um, for what I have. So, and then of course I still got my DX5C as well. So let me go ahead and get this installed and bind it. So we're gonna go ahead and power the remote on. Sit this back here, power on the car. You guys can see solid green light. 
And then let me prop this up so it don't take off on me. Give me one second. All right. So now I got it back up. Let's see if we're going the right direction. Steering. Yeah. So, as you can see, the binding process is really simple. Just has to have the remote close to the receiver and it binds right up. Again, 10 model memory, $17 for the receiver. So, you cannot beat this. Like I said, I'll have a running video tomorrow to test out the, the distance. Um, like I said, if you saw it on the box, it said 400 meters. 400 meters equates to 1,312 feet. We're going to see if we can hit that tomorrow. Well, it's your boy, Life of Coach D, man. Appreciate you guys. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Give me a thumbs down if you didn't like it. Hey, it is what it is. It's not for everybody. Until the next time, it's your boy, Life of Coach D, and we out.